guys, 1.24. I don't know what time it, or what temperature is because I forgot my hat. So Pete is in, just went in the house to go get my hat. So he turned the car off so he'd have the house key. Um, people, fifth wheel over there have a little dog. I can hear it barking. Here comes my hat and my beloved. Didn't wash my hair today. Thank you, love. You're welcome. There. So, we are on the way for adventures. It's been sprinkling on and off today. It's cool out. Um, slight breeze. It's a nice, nice day if you don't like the sun. Which we're, neither of us is supposed to be in the sun anyway, so. My pain levels, 1 out of 10, are about a 12 right now. So I just took one of every pain pill I've got. At a flex rail for good measure. 72 degrees. So when we get to where we're going, hopefully I'll be able to walk. So I will see you guys when we get there we don't know where there is yet so I'm glad I'm not driving because you know I have a hard time figuring out where there is even with the map <laughs> right here yep. my clean shaven <laughs> husband it's always a shock these people up here have the cutest little dog it's always in the front window he says a, a dog travels in the front window when he's driving down the road. Oh, really? Yeah. That is the cutest little dog. I wish Chewy would do that. Uh, not me. Because if you ever got in a wreck, you know, while you're screwing around with your ham radio and stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think your dog is the cutest one here. Every time we drive by, I say, that is the cutest little dog. What breeds, do you know? Oh, it's a giant she, oh really? Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. I think it's adorable. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you're cute. See ya. You too. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. See you later. Bye. Guys, we are in the town of Bridgman. And when I went to Heidi's, I came through this town. It's a very nice little town. But this building intrigued me so much because it looks like it's all tile, and I don't know if it is or not. But look at how beautiful that is, all the colors. And it looks like the doors and everything are tile. But they could be painted to look like tile, I'm going to guess. In fact, the whole building could be. But I love the colors on it, and I love the look of it. And it really intrigued me when I saw it coming through that town when I went to see Heidi. So, again, this is Bridgman, Michigan. Nice little town. What do you think, love? Isn't that a cool-looking building? Oh, yeah. That just is, that just, I just love that. I love the colors and the designs. It's so cool looking. That's the first stop sign I've ever seen flashed. Oh yeah, I've never seen them flash either. It's a cute little town, so. And I think it's right on Lake Michigan. I think Lake Michigan's on the other side of the town, I believe. Anyway, thank you for bringing me here, love. I really wanted to show it to you and I wanted to get it get it on my vlog. Guys, I'll let you look out the window this time because we're going back up. We're in Bridgman now, still, where that cool building is. Oh, let me get you so you're about right. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> um, anyway, um, Pete 
rustled up somebody. He was, you know, he was going through the town and he said whatever it is they say that says, I'm out here just li listening if anybody's around, you know, on his ham radio. And um, a guy came on and so he was a young, young guy. Anyway, so they chatted for a few minutes, and then Pete said, well, where are you? I'll drop you off a QS, QSL card. And so, um, you know, the guy was on his lunch break from work, so we just went there, and Pete, they, talk, they talked for a while, and they have stuff in common, in spite of the fact he's, you know, much younger. He's younger than even your sons, I think, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. And so, but anyway, he was a real nice guy, and... He gave him his QSL card, and he said, this is my first QSL card. He's only been doing this for a couple of years, and, and he's uh, really enjoying it and talking to people. And, of course, I-94 runs by this area, so he says he talks to here's people on there and talks to them. And apparently there's an active, active uh, group. Well, there's a few active groups for different things. So anyway, ham, ham, radio, groups. ham radio groups. Yeah. So... Uh, that was kind of fun. I mean, even though I didn't really participate, just listened mostly. So that was fun. That was, that was cool. I liked that. Beach in St. Joseph. We stopped at Big B, so we got some coffee. We just ate at Qdoba because. Well, we just hadn't had Mexican in a while, and rather than... We were just hungry. We didn't want to drive around looking anymore. And we had probably the best taco salads ever. The girl that worked there, her name's Blair. And, oh my gosh, if you ever go to the Qdoba in St. Joseph... It's in St. Joseph, right? Yeah. And St. Joseph asked for Blair, because she is, she is great. In fact, I'm glad I had my tablet because I sat right down while we ate. I um, filled out my survey. She's wonderful. Anyway, this is a real beach place. And then we'll show you later after, on the way out. They have a place. They have a kids activities place. Kids, I can't think what that was called. Carousel. Oh, a carousel. Yeah, they had a big car indoor carousel yeah, up there, right at the exit to the, or entrance to the beach here. And then there's a bird. And then they had, um, um, other stuff, but it was, you know, kids play, indoor play thing, museum thing. I don't know what it's called. We are hurting today. That's that grunting and groaning you hear. We're in. It's sunny now. It looked like it was gonna rain, but we we woke up in bad shape today. But whatever. There's the Rangers. I can chase them down. You want to see me run across the sand? <laughs> you want to vlog while I run? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll get as far as that sign, and I'll be flat on my face. We were going to ask if they prohibit or allow metal detecting here, but they're I'm doing sure their rounds. I'm I sure there'd be a sign. Yeah, I, and I was looking at that sign right over there, and it doesn't say anything about metal detecting. And on the weekends, it probably costs twelve bucks to be here for the day. It's true. It was twelve dollars to get in, but there was nobody at the at the little booth. So I guess after Labor Day, on the weekdays probably, nobody's there. Anyway, Lake Michigan. That's, that's probably more like what I'm seeing, or what we're seeing. What? water as far as you can see. Annette, I know you're across that lake somewhere. <laughs> Do you see us? We're waving. <laughs> oh. 
Anyway, just thought I'd share and I'll see you guys later. The beach. Don't want to leave. It's just so nice here. Breeze and people watching and dog watching. People walking dogs. I was going to show you guys. See that? See that white van there? That's I, that's a guy living in there. It's the stealth van. He's been out a couple times, walked down to the restroom, but you can see he's got his, his couple fans or vents on top. He's got a couple solar panels up there. The way he gets in and out, like he got in on the passenger side on his, you know, like on his hands and knees. That's not how people get into their car when they're driving a car. Anyway. He just pulled up there and he's been sitting here, which is fine and I don't care. I think it's nice. And if Pete and I were younger, we may have done the same thing, right, dear? Yeah. We, could, we might have done it too. So, yeah, we've probably been here an hour. I don't know. But it's just so nice. Who wants to leave, you know? People walking their dogs and dogs. All but one has like pulled to come and come and see us. They know dog people when they see them. Anyway, what is that sculpture over there, love? It's uh, called Go Fly a Kite. Oh. It's made up of a lot of little parts of a big silver thing with a front bumper off of somebody's car. Wow. <coughs> I don't know how it uh, resembles flying the kite. You really have to use your imagination to figure it out. Or be high. And be high. <laughs> anyway, we'll probably go back for too long. I know the dogs want us stuff, but it's so pretty here. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. On the beach now, there's the building that has a big carousel and it's closed today, unfortunately. I don't know what that building is next to it. That looks like a black mouth cur back there. And we got this. Don't know what that is. Pizza place. A whole lot of cars parked down here, though. A ton of cars down there. And there's a train station. Oh! Maybe that's it. I wonder if we could take a train ride one day. Amtrak. It's Amtrak. I wonder if we could take a train ride. That'd be cool. And then just go somewhere and then ride it back. Oh! That would be fun. Anyway. I would have thought you could get pizza at a <laughs> railroad station. I wouldn't have. With well, butterflies painted on the I bar. know, I just took some video of that. Anyway, that's where the carousel, Silver Beach carousel is. And whoops, let's get on the right side of the road. And back here, there's a children's something. It's closed. Looks like apartments there on the beach. We could take a train ride, like we could take a train ride to Chicago and back, right? If we want to try and find our way around the train station in Chicago, maybe we should pick a different, different thing. Maybe Lansing. Have lunch with Gwen and then come back. Yeah. Alrighty. There's the St. Joe River coming in from Lake Michigan, or going out to Lake Michigan, I never know. Which way does it go? Yeah, on this side, it's a wall. <laughs> so, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. It's uh, 7.33 and 73 degrees. We're back in... Um, Berrien Springs. Pete just ran into the Family Dollar to get a packet of pads for the dogs. 
We always put some pads down at night or when we're not home in case they can't wait. And we're thankful that they use the pads. Anyway, ugh, I'm taking it off. I'm sorry. Sorry about the hat here. I've been wearing it all day except for when it blew off my head. So, uh, let's see. We ate at about 2.30 or 3, so that we'll only have one meal again today. A taco salad at that restaurant, did I tell you? I don't know. Anyway, I was gonna just going to come on here and say goodnight and say see you next time and all that. Um, we just got out to have a, a kind of an exploratory day, and it was really good. Especially at the um, at the beach, just sitting there. That was so nice, just sitting there, people watching, people walking their dogs and all that stuff. That was really nice. Anyway, I don't know what tomorrow will bring, or Thursday, or Friday. No, tomorrow's Thursday. I think. I know next week I'm working, but I don't know. So I will go and I will see you next time. And I hope you guys are all having a, a great week. And, uh, you know, I guess I'm going to try and make time to answer comments tonight. I got, we stopped it, we did stop at Dollar Tree and I got some more autumnal type decorations for my squawker because I bought what I thought was enough for my walker and my squawker. I ended up using them all on my walker, so I've got to um, decorate my squawker. So that's on the, that's on for tomorrow. Okay, here he comes. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you're having a great week. Take care. God bless. Thanks for watching. Good night.